and gentlemen, welcome to the premiere December 2016 Celebrity Intensive Series. Please welcome to the stage our host, the president of Premier, Mr. Michael David. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon, everyone. I am so excited to have a couple of very dear friends hang out with you guys today. You know, it's so amazing. When uh, Peyton first came to the program two years ago, she had a scheduling conflict where she wasn't able to make it here when she was supposed to for opening ceremonies. So Spencer actually came out on the stage and filled in for her that night. And as a result, we have become family. These last two years with Peyton and Spencer have just been amazing. Many of you have been able to see Spencer, have been able to see Peyton in your home country, uh, all over the world. And now they're here to help you guys and to share the joy of Premier and help you guys launch your journey. So everyone, if you would please give a great big Premier welcome to Peyton List and Spencer List. Hi guys. Hey everyone, how's it going? So good to see you guys. Yes, now these guys have done such a great job being role models. And you know, I'll tell you, you have been in this business for a very long time, the both of you have. And tell us, what do you guys think is part of the success that you guys have sustained? I think I know what it is, but I want you guys to tell me what you think the secret to you guys being grounded in your success. I think you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, well, family is one of the keys, I think, yeah, of definitely. like staying grounded and just remembering who you are and uh, going back home and just always having like that support. And I think a lot of you are with your parents today, and I feel like just having like a good core group is really important. Absolutely. Do you have anything that you want to add to that? Um, yeah, I think the same thing. Family for me is a really big part of uh, staying grounded. Uh, my parents are always around me, just telling me, like, don't do dumb things. So <laughs> it's kind of great. <laughs> Yeah, Their right. parents are outstanding people. Guys, please have a seat. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, our journeys together around the world and what we've been doing. I know we just hung out in Australia for a little while. We were all together in Vancouver. Tell me about your experience, because you guys have spent some time in Vancouver. You know Canada. Yeah. And you were shooting Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Yeah, good okay. memory. Yeah, I filmed all the Diary of Wimpy Kid movies there. And then also I was just filming a decom that I did called The Swap in Toronto. And um, yeah, so, and then we also, Spencer filmed a Lifetime movie in Kelowna in British yeah. Columbia. It was a little farther away than uh, where we normally are in Canada. But yeah, it was really cool. It was uh, definitely, it was remote. And that uh, experience that you guys have been having together, because you guys started out together, right, mm -hmm. as kids. Yeah. And you guys, didn't you have your first appearance in a film in the Toby McGuire's Spider-Man, is that right? Yeah, yeah. we did, that's what we You really know yourself. Um, yeah, you do, yeah. Spider-Man 3, and we both had a part, and you kind of learn that this is just the business because we got the part, we were so excited to be a part of Spider-Man, and we had this part where we were sitting on the steps and we're fighting over how to spell his name. I think I was saying S-P-Y, and you were saying, no, it's S-P-I. Yeah. And then Spider-Man swoops by, and the part got completely cut. So we learned that that You're was like, our I'm first be project. Spider-Man. Yeah, I was like, everyone go see it. It's gonna be amazing. And then we get there, and we're like, oh no. And you're like, oh dang. And, the, and there's two kids that look exactly like us. And they're like, oh, is that you? We're like, no, that's that's not us. And they're yeah. like, oh, okay, okay. So we learned this is show business, kids. <laughs> that's what happens. They replace you with kids that look exactly like you. So. <laughs> now. As you guys have progressed through your career, you've gone a Disney Channel route, you're going a film route. Yeah. You're really, you guys are kind of going Definitely your own more way. More the drama route. Yeah. yeah, so talk to me a little bit about what you've been doing, because you've had some pretty big films yourself you've been working on, right? Uh, yeah, I just did a film with uh, J.K. Simmons, and then I did another film with Chloe Moretz, and it was, uh, it was, it was really grueling, it was really kind of intense. Um, J.K. Simmons, he just goes right into it. So say you have rehearsal, he'll just, come right in and then you start filming. Like you don't even know that you're actually filming until he walks in. You're like, okay, well, this is, uh, this is really different than, uh, than what I was used to. But I found, it, I found it so interesting how he preps. He takes like two hours to prep before the scene. He'll, he'll be writing on a board and like he, he was a math teacher. So he really wanted to make sure that he knew what he was doing, like all the equations. So it was, it was really interesting to see how he preps. And that made me really take acting to more of a serious level. 
Um, but yeah, it's, it's been really interesting uh, doing all these big films. So you've had a lot of great influences around yeah, you. Now definitely. you have been such a great role model for these little kids. You know, they, they grew up watching you on Disney Channel from Jesse to Bunked and so on. Being a role model on Bunked is a really big deal. So how do you handle the pressure of that? How do you, how do you take on the weight of all these little ones that just love you to death? Oh, well, thanks, guys. Um, I don't know. I guess I don't really think about being a role model sometimes because I feel like then I'll start to not be myself and I'll start to get really worried about what I'm saying. So I just try to be myself and hopefully people respond to it. And the good thing is I like that we do put out content on the channel that I feel like families can watch and parents feel safe with their kids watching, which means a lot to me because I feel like there is so much out there now, especially on the Internet and social media and everything that really like kids should not be looking at, so it means a lot that there's something that is a safe place for people to go. Now, you had a write-up in Vogue, because Erica yeah. sent me that yeah. article. How cool is <laughs> that? Tell everybody about that. Oh, yeah, I was really uh, pleasantly surprised. It was amazing. Vogue just uh, said, I guess, that I'm one of the eight teen style stars to look out for in 2017. Right, so because I was you really are honored. awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, thanks, guys. She's stylish. She knows it. <laughs> Now, you guys are incredibly supportive of each other. I, as a brother-sister combination, you guys are as healthy as you can possibly get. Um, it's, it's remarkable. It goes back to parenting, obviously. Now, how did your parents help you guys through the audition processes that you went through as a young person into adulthood? Like, what was some advice that your parents gave you? Um, well, I just feel like there are so many no's and so many things, but our parents just like gave us that confidence and that, I, don't, I guess they just were always supportive. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're always supportive. And I think one of the things was they said, do it for yourself. You know, they said never, they never had us doing it for them. It was always, oh, well, you got to do this. You got to study your lines. I'm like, if, if you didn't want to, then just, just don't do it. But they, they said like, you have to do it for yourself. And so that was a big thing with us too, not having your parents push you. Um, to do it yourself. So they wanted you to take ownership. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And as we got older, um, they were like, it's all on you. So yeah. if you're yeah, not going to do the work, scripts. then you don't do it. Because it is a lot of work, and it's a lot of time and a lot of effort you have to put into acting and, and all of this. Even though, you know, you see like a 22-minute show, it takes a whole week to do that episode. And so there's so much work that goes into it. And definitely. And you'll have auditions, like, maybe the night before where they'll give you like 10 pages and they'll be like, okay, you gotta memorize this. And it's maybe like five or six paragraphs. So you gotta memorize five or six paragra paragraphs plus like 20 extra lines. So it's like, it's a lot and you have to keep on going over it. So if you just don't, if you don't have the drive, you're, you're not really gonna make it. You know? I think what's really interesting for the young people and the parents to understand is really the difference between shooting a film and making a television show. Those are two totally different worlds. Yeah, they are, yeah. Let's talk about the process of making a film, and then I'd like, Peyton, for you to share what it's like to make a show in a week. Yeah. Um, the process of making a film, you, uh, you first have a table read, and then after that, you go into a little bit of rehearsals, and it's maybe for like a week or so, and then after that, you, uh, you film for about four weeks, or usually, uh, mostly two months, but some of the films I work on, you shoot them like two we four weeks, you shoot them like really fast. But uh, that's, kind of, that's kind of the process for ours. You just go straight into filming, and it's, uh, it's, it's really quick. Yeah, like Wimpy Kid, I mean, it took three, four months, but then I hear the Pirates of the Caribbean movies take maybe a whole year. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on yeah, the film. It's definitely a different process. You think for CGI film. has a lot to do with that? Oh, oh yeah. definitely, yeah. I think so. I, yeah, I think so. I think more like post-production, right, for CGI? Yeah, post-production yeah. takes a long time. Yeah, definitely. But what about uh, shooting a typical sitcom? Yeah, for Jesse or Bunked, we'll have a table read on Monday, which is where you all sit around, read through the script. The writers will find what jokes uh, they need to rewrite that night, uh, which ones worked and which ones didn't. They'll rewrite it. We'll come in Tuesday, rehearse with our director, do all of our blocking, so all of the movement, all of our crosses, try and find some motivation for them, and then do it for the writers. They'll find what works again, change it. Wednesday we do the same thing, but Disney comes in, watches it, um, gives their notes, and then Thursday we shoot, Friday we shoot, and on Jesse we would have live tapings where an audience could come in. So, five I like, days. I feel like they're a lot more strict and organized on that. <laughs> yeah, they're very organized on it. I feel like on our show especially, which I really appreciated, like mm -hmm. having that schedule, especially fitting in school and everything, we had a really good schedule for school and getting that in, That's whereas on movies it's point. a little crazier. <laughs> Let's talk about school, because I know education is obviously very important. So let's, oh, yeah. let's talk about how you fit school in. 
Yeah, so you have to do at least three hours a day. Um, we usually did five and then would bank two and use it for a day that was kind of chaotic on set. And um, you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, which is really nice. Um, I always feel like as actors, we all have like creative minds, so they're always all over the place. So having a teacher that really focuses you was really nice for, I think, both of us. Yeah, right. We both did school together on, on the show and everything. He would always yeah. come visit on Jesse and Bunked. And so having that, that person who really works with you was, was nice. I really liked when you two were on an episode of Bunked. I thought oh, yeah. it was really funny. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, yeah. It was very good. Nate, do you have a, a lot uh, of people hate me scene? now, but <laughs> that's do, do we have that, Nate? <laughs> I always like to put Nate on the spot. Got this, too cheap. You could you could hear him sweating. <laughs> do we have it? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, if it isn't the dorks of Camp Dweeby Waka, you must be Eric. How did you know? You have a very punchable face. So, do you like how we redecorate the spot? Hey, you ruined a perfectly good beat up truck. And that color does not match the rust at all. You know, Emma, you and Eric kind of look alike. We do, do not. not. I love that moment. That is so funny. You may snort, but Lights, it's the please. cutest snort I have ever heard. Thanks, Xander. And you're awesome, from your head to where your toes should be. <gasps> oh, I'm hit! I'm going into the line! Hi, Grandma! You're both out. By the way, I heard what you said, and you two imperfect weirdos deserve each other. I wouldn't talk. Emma's got a thicker mustache than you do. <gasps> you're you're mean. mean! That was really funny. So, uh, it, how many times have you guys got the chance to work together? Besides Spider-Man and that, were there times in between? Yeah, there was one other project uh, where actually, I think I had a killer in that. Drama. Yeah, it was. So it, it wasn't we, something to talk about. No, we did a horror okay. film, and it was like a really low-budget horror uh -huh. film that we filmed in Pennsylvania, and he ended up playing like a killer in it, <laughs> and he was crazy. Yeah, yeah. and so a couple scares loose. Yeah, but that was, we really didn't have any scenes together at all. I don't think we had one scene together, but we did the same movie. That is really great chemistry. And what you can see in there is you can not only see two people that really enjoy each other, but two people that really know each other. And, and I think that it's very special to have that, especially like when you look back when you're older and you see that together. I mean, how amazing is that to have shared that experience? That's very, very cool. It's definitely amazing. Yeah, we'd always run lines with each other, like, mm -hmm. at night. She'd, she'd yeah. be like, oh, hey, you want to run lines? I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. It's true so what you said about cool. the chemistry, too. They always say that. I feel like if you're friends with people off of set and you really get along, like, the chemistry definitely comes across on camera. So, mm -hmm. yeah. How hard was it for you to find the male lead on your show? Because that's got to be difficult for a guy who, because I don't, I, don't, I don't recognize him from other roles. Is, was he basically brand new uh, into the industry? I think he had done some theater because he's from Chicago. Okay. So he had done some there and then a couple projects here and there. And then uh, I think a DCOM, Adventures of Babysitting. And then mm -hmm. he came on to our show. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. And so we had a, basically a screen test. Everyone went to the Disney offices. Mm -hmm. uh, they narrowed it down to three boys. And then they brought me in and had each of them come in and read with me. And then at the end, they kind of put me on the spot and asked me who I liked the mm -hmm. best. And I just, all around, the guy had to be able to sing, he had to be mm -hmm. able to act, and just have, like, this charisma. So it was, I mean, that's a hard thing. Like, it's to, a really hard to thing. To have all of that talent And it's a hard thing person. to come into an established cast. It is, yeah, know. because all of us, like, I mean, Car and Sky and I, we mm -hmm. already have, like, this great chemistry. We already know each other. So to bring someone new onto that, it is a little, I feel like it probably is a little intimidating. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was for him, but, yeah, he did, I thought he did the best job. So. I want to end on talking about the future. So you tell me what you got coming up. Let's talk about what you got going on. I have two films coming up that are probably going to go to Sundance. Uh, the one film is called The Bachelors, and then the other film is called uh, Cameron Post. So look out for those two films. And Peyton, let's talk about you. What do you got coming up? Yeah, um, well, I have, we just finished filming season two of Bunked, and then I'm also going to go start a new movie called Anthem. Mm -hmm. And then I have The Thinning out right now, which is a dystopian thriller that's out on YouTube Red. How amazing is that? So, 
you've got this film out on YouTube Red. YouTube Red, we were talking earlier about um, Hulu, Amazon, all of this kind of paid content that people are now really getting into. It's a big deal. So your movie is such a great hit with the kids socially. They love it. What was it like doing a YouTube Red film versus doing some like big major Disney production? Because you've done both. You've, you've done big budget stuff to, uh, and I would consider Amazon uh, or, or YouTube more indie mm -hmm. and creative, right? So tell yeah. me a little bit about the differences between those two. See, like we did not know exactly where it was going to go at first. We thought it was going to be streamed online uh, when we were making it, but it was such a quick process. It was about 18 days, and you're right, it was a lot lower budget than usual, but you wouldn't know it. I think they did a really good they job. They did a great job. Um, thanks. And yeah, it was, it was insane. I mean, 18 days for a movie was just like unbelievable to me, and especially because of the shots and the action and the stunts we had to do for it. But yeah, I think they did a really great job with it. They did. Guys, let's thank. Peyton and Spencer for being here with us today. Hey guys, thank you. Peyton and Spencer are as much a part of the Premier family as each and every one of you are out there in the audience. They're going to spend time with you guys today to meet with you and to work with you with Drew. Drew's going to go ahead and coordinate it. You guys are going to break up into your thousand groups. Guys, it was wonderful to see you. I look forward to seeing you at opening ceremonies.